All right, this is the last day we are here in Seattle. We're gonna check out some more trails. Uh, this is called the Poo Poo Trail. That's right, I said Poo Poo. But we're gonna check out the Poo Poo Point Trail. Has some, uh, it's close by and has some good overlooks that we can see everything. So we're gonna head over there right now. <music> Right now we're walking over to the Poo Poo Point Trailhead. Parking was kind of tough to get to, so we found a little neighborhood that had free parking, and hopefully we won't get towed. But we're walking over there. We're about a quarter mile away from the trailhead. So I did do a little bit of Google research, and through my research, what I found and read was that the Poo Poo Point Trails are named because of when they were doing a lot of cutting down all the trees for logging the sound that the steam engines would make kind of sounded like a toot so there we go poo poo trail from the toots of the steam engines that they used to cut down all the trees supposedly there's a part that's relatively flat whenever they cut down the trees they even took down the stumps so at the top of the mountain there's a flat point that a lot of the paragliders go off on. So far we're just like behind a, a high school over here and we're heading up the trail right now. We are here and we're heading up to Poo Poo Point right there. Just a pretty good climb up to the top, but that just means on the way down, it's gonna be pretty nice. So the uh, the travel runner, he told me that it doesn't count if it's not a Strava, but my watch, it died, no battery. So you'll have to take this as video evidence of my hike up to Poo Poo Point. We made it to the viewpoint. We're not sure if this is the, uh, this is what we're supposed to see, but beyond those trees, you can see. Now I'm sweating. I regret not wearing shorts. How do you like it? Is it beautiful? Uh, is what you were wanting to see? My body is sore. Yeah, he did the uh, full marathon. I did the half marathon we'll see if there's more to see but if not it is a pretty trail lots of elevation so this is actually park point that we went up to we made, we missed the turn we should have went straight instead of turning left that all part of like, hiking see poopoo points not that far come on no two poopoo points let's go let's get the poo -poo points to that's just the beginning of the trail all right we made it back to the missed turn and now we're headed back to Poo Poo Point. Hopefully we get to the area. Said it's about three miles there and three miles back. Woo, already sweating. I wore jeans today, if you guys didn't notice. Bad idea. So, thanks to my handy dandy All Trails app, I found out it's almost a 2,000 foot climb. That means I'm gonna die on this trail. Well, just die going up. Give me a good climb all the way up to this point. Hopefully we see some paragliders or something cool up there to make it worth it. But you know what? Sometimes it's about the journey, not about the destination, right? We made it to the Poo Poo Point Trail. Gonna make it up there. It's hot, Garmin's dead, but we're gonna go. Check it out. Literally a climb all the way up to the peak. I'm glad I didn't run a half marathon yesterday or nothing. Mm -hmm. 
It's hot. It's a long uphill hike, but some of the views are worth it. This little bridge where there's a little stream running through it. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We're at a super steep climb right now. Got my trusty stick I found on the forest ground. Helping me get up. We're about a little less than a mile from the top. I had to take a break because that's a lot of climbing. And you can't tell, but my shirt is drenched and I'm kind of tired. So we uh, took a little snack break. And we're gonna continue climbing up some more. Finally made it to the top. Behind me is where the paragliders take off. They go flying. Like this guy. So we made it to the top. Pretty nice view. We're gonna rest here for a little bit and then go back down. You guys see way over there? That's the school that we uh, parked at. And now we're all the way up here. We made it. Almost 2,000 feet. So this guy behind me, he's about to jump off. He's about to go paragliding. We'll see if he goes. He's got his music on. You jump off of a mountain in a little parachute thing. I don't know if I can do it, but these guys are kind of... That is crazy to see that lady. <laughs> they kind of crash landed before they even took off, which I guess is good so you don't crash land when you're ready up there. But that was kind of scary. Uh, would I do it? I don't know. Maybe. But after seeing that, probably not. <sighs> we are headed back down now. It's going to be a long way down. We cool down. Got a little food in us. No water. We have no water for some stupid reason. We brought no water. So. Which is wish us luck on the way back down. So apparently there was a uh, short two mile route up to the uh, Poo Poo Point overlook, but we didn't know about it. And we are on the almost seven mile out and back route. And we're sweating our butts off. Going back down, it's a lot easier. It is a little tough on the steeper hills, but this little gradual hill that we're going down, it was tough when we were going up it, but now it's not too bad. And once in a while, when, you, when I look up, the forest is beautiful. The trees are gorgeous. I sure wish I had water though. Oh, that was pretty dumb of us, huh? Not to bring water. This is a super long downhill. I let go of my stick earlier. I regret it now. So I'm on the lookout for another stick. Mm. <laughs> All right, we finally made it out down to the base of uh, this peak, whatever it is. That was uh, hard on the quads going down, especially after a half marathon and my brother doing a marathon. But the views were nice. 
<sighs> poo poo, poo poo point. That's where we went. Still got another long walk to the car, so it's not over yet. Let's keep on keeping on. At least I know why they call it Poo Poo Point Trail because when you reach the top of it, you feel like poop. Poop, poo, poo, poo. All right, that is gonna be the end of this trail video. We did about eight, eight miles. It's a 7.2 mile trail, but we did a little extra. We also walked from our, our car. So we did all that. Probably should have planned better. Probably should not have worn jeans, worn some shorts or at least some athletic gear. And brought water, water. I thought I had some in my bag, but I guess I didn't put it in there. So we had no water for about eight or nine miles. So I'm pretty thirsty. I'm gonna find me a drink. It's a pretty good trail, y'all check it out. It is a long one, it's lots of climbing, lots of going down, but there's also a two mile trail that goes up there some other, some other place. Don't take the one that's off right next to the high school. That's about an eight mile trail. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like these trail videos, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.